I'm Regan. In December 2019, I tagged along on my partner's work trip to Brussels, London, and Paris. Here are some of my adventures. Why do I look so fancy? Why am I wearing a turtleneck? Because I am a turtleneck. <laughs> no, I look like this because today we are going to do fancy things. Um, sort of. My feet are killing me, my knees are crying, and my shins are like, can you please not walk another step? So today, I think we're gonna do a museum day, and I wanna go to the Horta Museum. Art Nouveau is a very powerful architectural influence in Brussels, and Horta was one of the primary leaders of that, kind of like Gaudi was in Barcelona. Not with Art Nouveau, but like with architecture in a city. So I wanna go to the Horta Museum today, and if I'm not already spent by the time that finishes, I wanna go see some of the cool Art Nouveau buildings. So let's go! <laughs> okay, so remember how I just said I wasn't gonna walk around a lot today because my body hurts and everything's in pain? <laughs> well, I went to the Horta Museum and it doesn't open up till 2 p.m. and it's currently noon, so I stopped and got some coffee and planned out an Art Nouveau walking tour for myself. <sighs> so let's see what we got. So while I had some time to sit down, I was curious, you know, like, what makes Art Nouveau Art Nouveau? You know, I love architecture and I love seeing beautiful buildings, but I don't actually know that much about their individual characteristics of each style. So it turns out that Art Nouveau is characterized by a highly decorative sense. The idea was that they were pushing back against the neoclassicism neoclassical architecture of before with rigid lines and strong rules and guidelines. So in Art Nouveau, the idea is to decorate everything possible. And often it's inspired by organic elements like plants and flowers. So you'll take this iron, glasswork, things like that, splash it with lots of organic and fluid movement, and that gives you Art Nouveau. So the idea in baking these houses is to make everything as decorative and as organic as possible. I'm currently outside of Hotel Tassel and this is definitely one of the most impressive ones that you should see. As you're walking along Avenue Louise, you can see quite a lot just on the street or off of it, so it's a really good route to take. And this one has got just the most decorative stained glass, most organic looking ironwork. It is very, very impressive, but if you didn't know it was here, you might miss it. I found one more. I don't know what this one is, but it is beautiful. And we have to take a closer look. So the Tassel Hotel was built in 1893 and it's considered the first Art Nouveau building in Brussels. And for this reason, it was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000. And honestly, it's beautiful, but I absolutely love the Savoy House. So when I was reading, this is basically what super rich people in the 1900s, no, sorry, the 19th century, but the 1800s would have lived in. And it also became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2003. We're going to head to the Horta Museum and we've got one more super cool place to see. I'm 
absolutely loving this Art Deco walk. I'm surprised I like it so much more than the comic book strip walk I went on. The thing is, it's just so much quieter in these neighborhoods. And not only do you see the beautiful Art Deco houses that are listed, I mean, there's so many other beautiful buildings to be seen as well. And I think the neighborhoods that you go through for this one are once again, much cuter than the ones yesterday and much, much, much less crowded. So I don't know that that house actually has a name, but I absolutely love the circular window on the third floor. I just find that so striking and I didn't even realize it until I got over here, but it's right across from a cathedral as well, just like so stunning. So the Horton Museum is just a block away. It's our last stop for the day. It's finally two o'clock and they're open. They're only open from weird hours, like two to 5 p.m. in the afternoons from Tuesday to Saturday. So that's our final stop for today. Well, that was absolutely wonderful. There were no cameras or cell phones allowed inside, and I totally understand why, but it is a beautiful, beautiful space in there. I actually, I found it so interesting that there was like a Japanese influence in Art Nouveau, and you can kind of see it in, um, there were lots of different silk on the wall, and even the way that like a flower is illustrated, it really harkens back to what I would call like traditional Asian artwork. I'll put a picture in so you know what I'm talking about. He also really used like a wide range of materials. He used a lot of, lot of different colored marbles, typically mosaic floors, lacquered brick, tons of like ash American wood. And it was so interesting to see those elements come together and to create, you know, a, a typical Art Nouveau house. And, I'm gonna find some pictures of the other buildings that he did because the interiors absolutely blow the exteriors out of the park. I mean, it is just beautiful. And it's, it's such a shame that you can't go inside most of these buildings. So it took me about an hour to go through the museum and I think it, yeah, it only cost me 10 euros. If architecture is something that you like, I definitely highly suggest it. The thing with all of these buildings is they're, of course, interesting from the outside, but it's really the insides that are so crazy and wild. You can really see the organic influences in you know the staircase or in the wallpaper or even in the way the furniture is carved. I hope you all enjoyed today's walking tour of Brussels. In the next video, we hop across the pond to London where I get to see my best friend who's been studying there. She takes me on a tour of the city and I finally get to spend some time with her. Make sure to subscribe and like this video for more travel vlogs. See you next time.